I am myself often asking what kind of an animal I am. You are obliged to stay in the mainstream and I was interested in something else. I got uh, always the remark, this is impossible. I felt, uh, in a way, that architecture is producing obstacles. Surely, a wall that I cannot go through, I cannot look, that means uh, architecture puts me within a set of obstacles. That's fine. But in the same time, I felt that these obstacles should depend on me. That means I can change them, not obstacles imposed on me. Uh, in the architectural mobile, I was taking two different principles. One is the view spatial, that there is a space frame, and there is a complete freedom within the space frame and under the space frame. The second one I called raft buildings. Both of them have a fundamental principle, minimum foundations. I made my studies of architecture, but I am in a way a, a product of the Second World War. The Second World War, where all certainties uh, got broke and uh, I got this idea of this incertitude and that all these general truths are false. So, so this was really a personal uh, uh, experience. In the 20s physics got completely apart, not so much by the relativity, which is conservative, but with the quantum theory. It uh, got in a complete absurd and um, I was uh, still in uh, high school when Heisenberg gave uh, lectures in Budapest and they were public so I, I could listen to it and I was very, very impressed. And this was somewhat decisive for me but uh, that uh, the established truths in such a fundamental science like the physics is uh, completely fluid. To make animated cartoons I was uh, doing a certain number for the French TV and I made a technique, a very simple technique, but before the computer, but we made one film a day. Uh, the feet, you see, simply the phases of walking and the upper part. And uh, what, whatever movement with the hands. I got for this the Golden Lion at the Venice Festival because of these techniques.
difficulty with architecture started, uh, or mainstream architecture, started essentially with the Bauhaus. The Bauhaus, who was trying the best thing for the average man. And my point was that the average man doesn't exist, and people are different. And the, the optimal design of the Bauhaus was optimal for a statistic entity, but real people uh, think otherwise. The Wilspatial idea was taken over by a number of different architects. Some of them told me directly, Steve Noel and uh, Chumi. Okay, there are others who didn't tell. It's okay, I don't mind it. But Dange made uh, his Tokyo project. But the Tokyo project was influenced by me. It's Dange who told. And Dange told in the press conference at the Osaka exhibition. That's what I think is good. Dange didn't copy, was influenced, and made his way. And the other one made again his way. And that's, that's what, is, what is important for me. Ça va Ça te va